Hello there everyone, my name is Tom, and in today's project, I am going to be using the Studio 5000 Logic Designer software to upload a project from the controller using the splash screen. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and show you the materials for today's project. First, I will be using a Ellen Bradley Compact Logics controller. Next, I will be using the Studio 5000 Logics Designer software. And next, I will need the USB 2.0 A to B printer cable. And below each item is the link to the web page where the items are located. Now I'm going to get started here with the hands on portion. Now, here from the splash screen, I'm going to attempt to upload the program in the controller from the open from upload right here. And I'm going to click here. Now I have a warning screen here that comes up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click OK and I'm going to check to make sure that my cable is connected to the processor and that it is active in device manager. So I'm going to look for my device manager here just to make sure that the cable is communicating with the computer. I'm going to scroll down here and I have the cable driver right here. And that's the Rockwell Automation USB CIP devices. And I'm going to open it up. And it says that the device is working properly. So I'm going to click OK and X out of the device manager screen. And if I look here, I have the USB device here. And I have a Logix L33ER processor here. So I'm going to open that portion here and I'm going to come down and drill down here to the processor. And I'm going to click the upload button here. And this will take a little bit because the software has to open up. Now the software is opening here. And once the software opens, it should be connecting to the processor and we should have our program shortly. Now I am connected. And as you can see, I'm going to select the file. And I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Now I am uploading the project from the processor to the software. And this will take a few moments. I'm going to click yes here to upload the project. And there we go. We have the uploaded project here from the processor. So that brings an end to this project. So if you like the video or you learned something, let me know, leave a message, and I'll see you next video.